What's going on guys? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my experiences living in my car for about a year straight. Kind of what the routine was like, where I stayed, where I went, how I cook food, all of that, we're gonna get into it. I'm actually outside of the local Walmart right now. This is my car to the right of us. And this is the exact spot that I used to park at. I would park here every night. I'd come here probably about like 10 o'clock every night and really wasn't many people here. There was always people working kind of outside and stuff. Um, there was some lights here and there, so I had to kind of black out the windows, um, but I managed. And pretty much what I did was I took out the back seats uh, here in my car and I uh, put a, a piece of plywood so, uh, supported by some beams of two by fours. And I pretty much just put my feet uh, all the way to the end. I put my seats down so my feet would go into the trunk. And it was, it, it was both fun, but it was also kind of a struggle. But I did it intentionally. I did this because I wanted to live in my car. Um, I was a very, it was a very interesting experience. I got to save a lot of money. I eventually took that money and invested it, but this is kind of my journey. And so this is the exact spot that I stayed. And there were other people that would stay here at night. I remember I actually had like a, a neighbor. It was this uh, elderly woman, not elderly, but she was probably about 50 years old. And she stayed in the back of her truck. She's parked right where that third car is parked over there and she had like a tarp on the back of her bed and she would have a dog and i remember the dog would bark every night when i when i would pull up but i remember i saw her at the bank and we kind of exchanged you know the fact that we're both sleeping at walmart but uh this is where i stayed and never really had any problems here uh walmart's are a very chill spot to park i only had one time where a police officer knocked my window and that was just because he saw me get out of my car late at night and he was just making sure everything was okay but Overall, yeah, this is where I stayed. Uh, I had a little bit of uh, shade in the early mornings from this tree here, and this is the exact spot I stayed at, so pretty cool. All right, guys, so here we are at the park that I used to stay at, and this is a very beautiful park, as you can see. And I chose this park because it has a lot of different amenities that are really good when you're staying in your car. So the first one would be that they have these little outlets down below. So you can plug in your computer, your phone. You can plug in, I even had a uh, actually like a portable stove it was an electric stove that I would plug into this so that was super helpful charge my phones whatever it was I had it here I could charge my speaker all of that so that was really really helpful uh, the next thing is they have these little tables here so you could kind of set up shop you can you know put your stuff uh, take some food out you know if you wanted to cook some food maybe make a sandwich or something these were really nice I really like those uh, next if you look down uh, far that way there there's actually some bathrooms down there right next to this spot so that was very helpful you never know random times you'd have to use the bathroom so definitely went out there and used those quite a bit um, also too if you look on this side over here there's actually a police station right there so very safe very i mean obviously we're in a very safe town so that's an important part you don't want to be on a rough side of town but um, this pretty much had everything it also has wi-fi as well so i was really blessed had has wi-fi um, it's got trash cans so you can throw stuff away. It's got a nice, I mean, look at this view. I have a beautiful view behind me um, on both sides, really, all over the place. Really nice. And I would come here. I would even set up my hammock over on this end over here to the left. And those little bars, I would hang up my hammock. I would connect my computer. And I would literally watch, you know, a movie before I went to bed or something, you know. And I would hang out here, spend time, set up my computer, edit photos. You know, I did photography, so I'd edit photos at night. And I just spent a lot of time here. It was enjoyable. I liked it. I was always outside kind of observing the public and it has its pros and cons. I mean, you're gonna be in the public eye, so it's kind of annoying when people see you, you know, or whatever, but also too, it's nice to be out and about and be able to see what's going on. But this is where I shared a lot of my time. This is where I spent a lot of my time. It served me well, but a good park that has Wi-Fi and some amenities is really gonna go a long way. All right, guys, so here we're in front of the gym. This is the gym that I used to go to. And it's very important if you're living in your car, you gotta have a gym. And specifically, a 24-hour gym. You never know what's gonna happen. Always good to have access to clean showers, clean equipment, clean area to kinda freshen up. Uh, I would come here, you know, trim up my beard if I needed to, or just take a shower, get ready for the day. Uh, pretty much what I would do, I'd wake up at the Walmart, I'd come over here, first thing I'd do, probably about like eight o'clock in the morning, I'd walk through go into the bathrooms there, take a shower, get all dressed up, get ready for the day. And it was just very important to have this place. Not only to mention that it was a gym in which I would always work out at. I'd try to stay my, keep myself busy working out all the time. You know, I was working and working out. The thing is when you live in your car, you gotta find stuff to do. You can't just hang out in your car. At your house, you can hang out, you can turn on the TV, you can lounge around. In your car, you just can't do that. You have to find places to go. You gotta find parks, you gotta find gyms, you gotta find places to work. So this is a really important place to have. 
if you get a clean one, it'll be worth it. Um, at least have access to 24 hour bathrooms with showers. It's gonna do you wonders, but I spent a lot of time here working out, staying fit. I had a motto in that time and that was, when you don't know what to do, stack dough, build skills, and work out hard as hell. All right guys, and lastly, we're at the place where I worked. I worked at a restaurant as a busboy. This is the restaurant behind me where I worked and they were open in the mornings and at night. So I would work a double shift. I'd work in the mornings and then I'd work again at night. And I worked like six days a week, five days a week. I'd probably work a couple double shifts a week. The main goal was to try to stay as busy as I could with work, you know, working at this restaurant. Also, I uh, started doing photography, so I did photography work as well. But main thing when I was living in my car was stay occupied, keep working, stay busy. And so I'd work double shifts here and I made pretty good money. I probably made like $150 each shift. So I'd make like $300 a day, sometimes even $400 a day. So I stayed busy here. And you know I, that was a very important aspect was keeping yourself busy. Like I was saying before, you gotta keep yourself outside of the car because you can't be in the car, it's such a small space, especially in tough times like summertime where it's really hot. You gotta find places that are cool and stuff. So keep yourself working, keep yourself at the gym, stuff like that. But that was the grind that I did. I worked as a busser for a year straight. I did double shifts. I kept myself busy and I paid attention to every dollar that I made and I made sure not to lose those dollars. Those little those dollars are little pieces of my time. Each dollar that I earned was like a little piece of my time that I gave away. So I made sure to take care of those dollars that I earned and to put them into something bigger. That's how I got started with my RV park. And it's been a journey, it's been fun. I learned a lot. I got to, you know, live kind of a little bit wildly and it was all worth it, it was all worth it, it was all worth the pain, it was fun, I had ups and downs, but I took all that money, I invested it. If you haven't seen any of my RV park videos on my page, make sure to check those out. If you'd like to download my ebook that I wrote about my journey investing in an RV park, starting from a busboy to eventually an RV park investor, make sure to check the link down below in the description or on my page, it's a great read, but it was fun sharing this journey with you. Living in a car is something you can do if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to invest, whatever it is, it can be done. This is how I did it. I did this for a year, I did this routine. It was a grind, but you gotta see it through. And once those dollars start stacking up, you're gonna get motivated, guys. But thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you got value out of it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.